Science 3 Physical Properties of Objects Hard, Shiny, and Stretchable Today, we will learn about different materials and objects. We see a variety of objects all around us, like a chair, table, book, utensils, and so many toys. They all are made up of different materials, like plastic, wood, steel, mud. All materials have different properties, like some material can be heavy, some can be light. If you have two tumblers, one is made of plastic and one made of steel. The one made up of plastic would be lighter. If you have two carry bags, one made of cloth, one made of paper. The one made up of paper would be lighter than the one made of cloth. Also, one made of paper would be less durable. What is an object? It is anything that is made of one or more material. So different objects can be made of single material or different materials. This tumbler is an object made of plastic. This pen is an object made up of two types of materials, plastic and steel. What is a property? Property is a characteristic of any material or object. Properties can be based on smell, taste, sound, look, feel. We can feel or observe the properties with our sense organs. Describe the physical properties of the image below. Touch. The spring feels smooth and hard. Touch. The coils allow the spring to compress and stretch. Sight. The springs look silver and shiny. Different properties of different objects can be heavy, lightweight, hot, soft, cold, sweet, bitter, salty, sharp, white, black, sticky, shiny, yellow, crunchy, durable, and brittle. One. What characteristic that make this group of objects differ from pillow? The group of objects are example of hard objects. Two. What characteristic that make this group of objects differ from notebook? The group of objects are example of shiny objects. 3. What characteristic that make this group of objects differ from pencil?
the group are stretchable objects. Why do we need to know the properties of objects? To know how things are different and alike with each other. Let's try some activities. Can you place different objects into groups based on their observable properties? Materials needed per group. Sponge, crayon, bond paper, metal spoon, plastic ruler, popsicle stick, pencil, aluminum foil, paper clip, rubber band, eraser. Instructions 1. Choose one item from the materials given. 2. Describe the properties of your chosen object by answering the following questions on a separate piece of paper. What shape is it? What color is it? Is it soft or hard? Is it shiny or not? Is it big or small? Is it stretchable or not? Does it have any unique features? What is your item? 3. As a group, sort the materials based on their properties, hard, shiny, or stretchable. 4. Share your group's classification with the class. Generalizations and abstractions How can you describe objects? How can we group objects? Why do you think we grouped these objects this way? What is the importance of describing an object in terms of physical properties? Evaluating learning. Instruction. Describe these three items in terms of their observable characteristics. Day 2. Objects that are hard. Describe the physical properties of the image below. Touch. The spring feels smooth and hard. Touch. The coils allow the spring to compress and stretch. Sight. The springs look silver and shiny. One. What characteristic that make this group of objects similar from spring coil? They are hard objects. What makes you say that an object is hard or not? 1. They don't bend. 2. They don't squish. 3. They don't break easily. 4. They are firm. 5. They don't change their shape. A hard object is one that stays the same shape when you press on it, or it's tough to change its shape. What characteristic that make this pillow differ from the group of hard objects? A pillow is an example of soft object. A soft object is one that changes shape easily when you press on it. Let's try some activities.
Activity 2. Is it hard or soft? Procedure. Part 1. 1. Search around the classroom for two objects that you think are hard and two objects that you think are soft. 2. Once you have found your objects, take turns pressing each object gently to see if it stays the same shape or not. 3. Write down the name of the object or draw a picture of it in your notebook and label it as hard or soft. Part 2. 1. Draw the boxes in your notebook, then draw the objects inside the right labeled box. 2. Draw your answers inside the correct box. Generalizations and abstractions. one what are examples of hard objects two how can we say that an object is hard three what are the basic uses of hard objects fill in the blanks a blank object is one that stays the same blank when you blank on it or it's tough to change its shape a blank object is one that blank shape easily when you blank on it. Evaluating learning. Instruction. Describe the following objects. Color them red if they are hard and blue if they are soft.